I was thinking of uh, people and funny ideas. Um, Destiny Truth, um, a.k.a. Uh, teachings on Heaven. He's back and he's got an Irish accent, hasn't he? Have you come sorry, across what? his uh, teachings on Heaven? What about him? He's, uh, he deleted his videos Jesus a while ago, right? came back and now he's talking in a uh, an Irish accent. <laughs> He's back now? Yeah, and he's doing these videos. You don't see his face, oh, but you see uh, like an image he's picked up, probably off Google Images or something. And uh, he's basically there, where he used to speak in a very English accent, like he's from the BBC or something. Now he speaks kind of like, he's talking like this, he's saying, well, of course, you know, the, the way of Christ, you know, he's talking very much like that. He's saying, you've got to understand the true way of Jesus. So he's talking in a sort of like fake Irish accent. So I'm slightly worried about him because he is a bit of a a bit of a loose cannon, to be entirely fair. He did say he was Jesus too, didn't he? He and did. He got yeah. His birthday wrong. Yeah. So that was weird. Like maybe maybe Jesus wasn't very. Well, good he he said something. I can't remember. It's he said uh, that when he was. Uh, what was it? He said, he said something like he was born in in zero BC or something like that. I can't remember exactly. What it meant. And I had Didn't to go. I had to go and correct him. I was like, you know, there actually is no zero, and the actual date that Christ was born was probably, I mean, around three or four AD. And didn't he also say that's when he died? I can't. I cannot remember. He yeah, but he got some date thing messed up, and I went and corrected. They told him he made it worse. I think I remember that that he said, "Oh yeah, I was I was born like two thousand thirty one years ago, or something." So he just edited it yeah, when I, when I, when I died back then or whatever. <laughs> yeah, he was really confused. Definitely, he kept changing it. Do you think if he had been incarnated, he would have kept track of time? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you know, when I first came across his videos as. Uh, as Destiny Truth, and he was talking about Destiny, I thought, well, he seems to have a lot of weird, like, <clears throat> spiritual beliefs, and I, you know, you know, his choice, his own life. But then he started saying, like, Destiny are, like, possessed, and then he got that channel, Teachings on Heaven, and it kind of all went downhill from there. It makes you wonder what he's gone through in his life. I mean... He must have gone through some pretty weird stuff, I imagine. Yeah. You know, otherwise... It looked like that guy who played on House MD, that's what I remember. <laughs> yeah. I think I, <laughs> I know the one. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, I haven't thought of that. <laughs> yeah, he was a similar type and with the hair and everything. <laughs> kind of reminiscent, but not, not quite. Not quite, no. <laughs> I'm sorry that that channel is gone because that was evidence for some some weird destiny things mm. like that they said. True. Like true. Ryan calling me a cunt. Mm. Should have made a screen cap. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Because <sighs> they all go, "Oh, why are you potty mouthing and insulting?" And like, ha, "Excuse me." I've been called very colourful terms. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Ryan Wright who opposed Destiny, kind of, recently. And then he didn't want anyone to know about it, so maybe I shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> oh. He had that on his blog, uh, problems he has with Destiny, and it was public, but I don't think he knew that. Yeah, it's not like he, he, he was about to... Split hairs or something, I don't know. And then, uh, I, I don't know if he is or not. I mean, say, I mean, it's his, his choice. If he wants to stay with Destiny, that's fine. I'm not saying that he's going to uh, leave them. It's just he, he listed his problems with the ideology. Yeah. Like, stuff with the, uh, with the breathing, what's, what's uh, unhealthy about focusing on every breath. Focusing on every breath. And uh, that he didn't like their, their stand on sexuality because he doesn't feel like feeling guilty for everything he does and desiring people and that it's normal. And I'm like, hey, you're actually being healthy there. I like that. Um, 
And that he didn't like the history of mankind because it was stupid. <laughs> and then within, oops, wah, and there goes my microphone. And then within two days, Spearman and that chick called Laura n knew something, n knew, knew some, something. That one chick. Um, she and Spearman came there instantly and started bitching at him. Basically saying, you're not a good enough tester, but you just didn't try hard enough. Nye, 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 nye. Hmm. You know, being really, really bitchy. And then he uh, posted something about uh, responding to some comments, but that was private for real this time. And then he wrote something about, I don't hate destiny. And I was like, yeah, that, w that was a dumb move. Some guy actually criticizes destiny with real common sense. And instead of luring him back in, you go bitch at him and reaffirm his opinion. <laughs> That's a bad idea. And I think it proves that to Spearman, pretty much it's she, she's the main cheerleader. She just goes and, and bitches at people to prove <clears throat> that she's, I don't know, the alpha female or something. <laughs> Do you reckon she... Scary. Do you reckon that Spam Ann gets uh, jealous of Sinet spies? Hmm. I, I do I wonder. I don't know, maybe they're buddies. Yeah. Well. I know there's some people she doesn't really like. Such as? I think she didn't like Craver too much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because Craver got kind of big, and also Craver has boobs, so she has an advantage there. <laughs> True. I think basically that's... Huh? <laughs> well, she, she shoves them into the camera at every opportunity. So she knows how to work those. Yeah, that's how to play the Fences. YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> Works with Destiny Mails too. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> and so yeah, well, and, and Spearman can't really compete with that. So she started bitching on a blog about beauty image and breast implants and whatever. Hmm. I can't remember who and the she one went was. To some blog and was like, oh. my breast just grew. Hooray! Thanks for sharing. she's so weird. Yeah, I think they all are, aren't they? They're all very well. They either start out as being slightly peculiar and become weird, <laughs> or they just end up being weird from the from the get go, from the start. <laughs> you know. So, I, I suppose no one sane would want to be in Destiny anyway, to be entirely fair. Mm. They are slightly delusional. Slightly. S slightly. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be nice here, yeah? It's like the understatement of the year. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes I'm thinking, I'm, I'm a very straightforward, honest, honest person, but you cannot tell those people anything honestly. Like, when I did my musical critics stuff, ah, I mean, you, you can take everything two ways. You could have taken this as constructive criticism if you had wanted to, if you were professional about it, but no. So I'm the antichrist for <laughs> saying, hey, you know what? Your music piece kind of sucks, and it would help if you tuned your piano every once in a while. That might help. <laughs> but no, yeah. no, no. If you say that, you're evil. Yeah. I suppose that's the, uh, well... At least an element of it. I'm not sure what other condition might be more applicable. But we talk about narcissism. The narcissist finds it extremely difficult to take any form of criticism. Even constructive criticism. I think we all have an, a narcissistic element, of course. But it seems to me that these Dystonians are just obvious, blatant. Well, narcissists, I mean, I have a certain element to it of, of my, uh, with myself. And I find it, you know, a bit uh, difficult to talk about, a bit difficult to deal with. But they are so far beyond anything I would be like or have been like. It's it's totally insane. I mean, the way they act, the way they talk, the way they treat their subscribers, commenters, people who come to them new. It's completely ridiculous. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Sometimes when they when they're really braggy about something, I'm I'm not really I don't I don't like bragging personally, and they're mm. really braggy about something, and I'm sitting here, I can do that like ten times better, and I'm not even an asshole about it. 
what am I supposed to think now? Because I don't even consider myself great at that. And they go like, look, I can draw a line. I'm like Picasso. 